Okay guys, so in this video we are going to cover a cash payment general. Remember on our previous video we were doing a cash receipt general. So after this video if you haven't watched cash receipt general please go and watch cash receipt general because these two they go along. Okay, so we are going to do some transition and we are going to show how are you going to record it under a cash payment general entries please make sure that you watch the entire video so that you will understand the procedure and the step that you have to use to determine a cash receipt general transactions all right let's start with transaction number one okay transactions of january 2023 all the transaction that we are going to read is for january 2023 so if you can check here this we are going to use it as a our date all right on the first Lundi, the owner purchase inventory amounted to 50,000 cash at Monday store. All right. Now let's check here. A cash payment journal entry. Okay. Then the first column, we have a date. The second column, we have a name of payee. Okay. And the second column, we have bank we have credit control, we have inventory. So if we find that uh, the transaction is not affected by credit control and inventory, of course, we have to record it under a sundry account, but you have to indicate a detail as well as amount. All right, the first one that we are going to do is for only the owner that purchased inventory amounted to 50,000. Of course, as a business, we've paid Remember, when we deal with cash payment journal, we are looking for only cash transactions. All right, which means that on one January, we have made a payment. Okay, so the name of payee, who paid? The name of payee, obviously, is Rundi. Okay, it's Rundi. And the amount will be 50 thousand okay then a creditor's control is it going to be affected no we purchase an inventory okay we purchase inventory we are going to record it under inventory account okay remember a creditor's control is related to our supply if we purchase something on credit and when we pay them we are going to reflect it under a creditor's control okay Number two, interest on loan from V Bank amounted to 550 and has been paid. Okay, it's gonna be to January. The bank is VK Bank. Okay, and amount is 550 and then. Creditors control is not going to be affected and it's not inventory. This is interest expense. Okay, interest on loan is the same as interest expense, which means that it's going to go to Sandra account and we record interest expense. Simple as that. Okay, then number three, they said a rent of 5000 for factory has been paid on 3rd of January. All right, in other words, we have paid a rent expense. This is for factory building, okay? On third, a date we're gonna write 3 January, and we write a factory building, okay? Then amount is 5,000. Okay, it's not fall under creditors control, it's not fall under inventory, it's going to go to Sandri as 5,000. And then this side, it will be, we paid a rent expense. Rent expense, simple as that. Okay, number four, they said insurance premium amounted to 950 has been paid for general war. So we paid insurance, which means that it's cash payment. Okay. A date is gonna be for January. We paid insurance premium. Okay, we can just write insurance premium. 
but if we have name of that company we can also mention the name of the company on this one okay as name of pe all right then amount is 950 and it's gonna go to sundry account then we write insurance expense okay and then the next one we have number five on five general worry so on five general worry they say that a bank charge amounted to 500 for general worry from abc bank whether bank charges have been uh, written it has been paid or not bank charges are always cash payment general remember when they charge you uh, the bank charges from the bank they don't negotiate they just deduct it from your account which means that it's automatically cash out okay uh, bank charges from which bank a b c bank okay the transaction is on five okay then amount is how much it's 500 it's 500 and it's gonna go to sandra account and we write bank bank charges very simple guys very simple okay then the next one we have rate and taxes that are amounted to 950 okay we have paid a rate and taxes on 6 january a rate a and taxes okay there's no name of uh, of the company you can say and taxes we pay to SARS okay then amount is gonna be 950 okay and it's gonna go to sundry account as 950 and we write a rate and taxes rate and taxes okay so this is how you are going to record it all right then number seven they say additional inventory amounted to 750 has been purchased cash okay this company has purchased further inventory amounted of 7500 okay then we're gonna say seven january they didn't tell us the name we can just say inventory purchase inventory purchase unless they give you the name of the supplier okay then amount is is gonna be seven thousand five hundred okay and the next one is gonna be seven thousand five hundred and this side is gonna be nil all right for let's go back to the first one for the first one we were supposed to write Mandy store it has been purchased to Mandy store because Lundi is the owner the owner is the one who is doing all this uh, transaction so instead of name of pay you can just write a uh, details yeah all right which means that after that guys you have to make sure that you calculate the total for everything total here and you add everything here you add everything here then you will be done with your cash payment general i hope you learn something guys so please make sure that you go and watch the other video that i did combination of cash receipts and cash payment journals thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoy please don't forget to like subscribe and share with friends who are doing accounting so that they can also learn see you on the next one